Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah. If you're new here, I'm Sarah. Welcome to the family. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new Huda Beauty. This is her false filter luminous matte foundation. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be testing out the new Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. Is it faux or faux? I think fox sounds sexier, but anyway. All right, so this foundation, this is her new foundation. So if you are, are aware of her, original one was so fragrant. I mean, it was just too, my sensitive sense of smell was just, oh my God, it was overwhelming. This foundation is fragrance free. So I was so excited about that. This foundation has so many claims. It says it's full coverage. It's up to 24 hours of wear. I'm not gonna be wearing this um, foundation for 24 hours, but I will be doing a check-in and then I will do an end of day wear test. I'm gonna wear it for a good like 10 hours and let's see what it, let's put it to the test. So this is saying that this is a luminous matte foundation. Um, they do have 39 shades. I think they do have a great range of undertones and skin tones to choose from. I think the one that I chose, I really like the color. It's Custard 20, 220N. So that is the shade that I chose. This is also vegan and cruelty free for all my vegan girls out there. And guys, it's $40 and you do get 35 milliliters of product. So it does look like the original packaging. The only thing different is the pump is a little fancier. So let's talk about the claims for this foundation. Girl, get ready. Because the claims, it say it's blendable, full coverage formula, fragrance free. It's transfer proof, waterproof, fade proof, sweat and humidity proof. I live in Louisiana if y'all don't know. I'm a Louisiana girl and humidity proof? I'm like all about that. Humidity proof, humidity proof, sweat proof. It's And it offers 24 hours of wear. I don't know anybody that would wear this for 24 hours, but to each their own, I don't discriminate. All right, let's get on to the try on and then I will come back for a check-in and end of day thoughts and opinions. So let's get this started. So I'm really gonna be putting this foundation to the test today because look at this. My face was living its best life and I woke up and I'm like, mm. so let's put it to the test today. I am going to, I'm not gonna put any kind of primer on my face because I wanna really test out the formula, all the claims. I am gonna use a sponge on one side and a brush on the other just to see the, how the application is. Usually I use a brush to put my foundation on, but today I'm going to try both. It does say that you could apply foundation evenly all over the face with a dense brush or beauty sponge. So it does say you could use both. So let's see. I'm gonna pump this on the back of my hand. It's like, it's a real moussey formula. Yeah, it's very moussey. See how it's the tackiness of it? All right, let's start applying. I'm gonna apply this. Just dot it all over. I did moisturize and everything else, but I didn't put any um, primer or anything like that on. So let's see. First, I'm going to pick up the sponge. This is a wet sponge, and I'm going to try to see what that looked like. I know some of y'all like to use sponges. And right away, I could see it looks like it's actually creating pores. Well, I mean, I already have pores. Everyone has pores, but it looks like it's emphasizing or it's like it's bleeding into the pores and making them look accentuated. Uh, I don't know about the 
sponge but you do sometimes have to let the foundation sit on your skin to actually see how it's going to wear or to look so let's go on with the brush on this side and see I will say I like the shade range. I think she really gets the undertones. I like that color on me. I don't know. So, first off, I don't think I should have dotted it everywhere. I think I should have placed the product in one area and worked in that area before because this is already dried down on my hand. So, it really dries down really fast. So, you want to work fast with this foundation. But, it looks, see, it looks a lot better on this side where I did the, you know, buffed it out with the brush. It looks a little smoother but it still looks like you could see pores which everyone has pores but we don't want them emphasized so I see a little cake in right here where it dry down let me go over it with the sponge maybe if that will help Okay, so I see it dry down a little bit. It looks a little better on the sponge side. I do like to see how products layer over. So this is maybe a pump and a half. So these blemishes right here I had, it doesn't look like it actually covered them up. It might have emphasized them right here, right here. I don't know. We have to let it sit on my skin to see if it changes, if it oxidizes. So my plans are to do a check-in at um, midday and then at end of day I will come for my final thoughts. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. So it's been a couple of hours. I could see like separation right here. Only a few hours. I love the color though. The color is really pretty. But I don't know. It's very like, okay, you can see that. I'm sure you can see it. It's separating already. It's only been a few hours. So I'll check, do another check in in a little bit. This is another update this is about five hours we went i went to the doctor i went to target um the transfer proof i could show you my mask um it does have some on there it's not that bad but i will show you up close you could see like if i get it into my fine lines you could see the separation right there it's not bad i mean i see the luminosity um yeah so it's been about five hours right now so i'll see y'all end all right guys this is end of day the end of day the final results so i wore this foundation for a good 10 hours so let's adjust the claims of this foundation this foundation had so many claims so it was fragrance free i love that there was no fragrance it wasn't like overwhelming there was nothing there that was so overwhelming like the, the original uh it was full coverage it says that it was bl blendable it was blendable but you have to work fast with the foundation because it dries down really really fast so that's one thing it does have a good shade range to match your undertones and the tone of the, your skin transfer proof it actually transferred onto my mask so i wouldn't say it's 100 percent transfer proof so i don't know why they're saying that it is transfer proof i don't know why does it claim has all these claims if it doesn't live up to the hype so with all the claims of the foundation and it's a 40 dollars foundation you would think you know it's gonna live up to the hype but 
it sadly did not live up to the hype of all the claims that it claimed to be. Sweat proof, humidity proof, uh, at 24 hours of wear, I could see, I could show you, I showed you after a few hours it was separating. But, it, and it emphasizes pores. I have pores, but I mean, it looks like it's like sinks in, you know, into those pores. I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> It's just, it's like creating texture on my face. So I will say that it's not 100% fade proof. It's not 100% sweat and humidity proof. Um, it doesn't give you 24 hours of wear because after a few hours of wearing it, I start separating on my skin and it's just sitting on top. I don't like that. It's like emphasizing stuff that's not there. It's creating texture on my skin and I don't like it. I don't like that. So... I don't think I can recommend it to you guys. I mean, $40, that's a pretty high price point for a foundation. So, um, for me, my opinion, I will not be repurchasing this foundation. So, the next foundations, I have two other foundations that I have not tried yet. I've been having this Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And I have the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I can't wait to try this one. It's oil free um, and it has a sunscreen in there. So I can't wait to try that one too. But I've been having these since they released. So I'm thinking about a video in those too. What y'all think if y'all want to um, see them and see my honest opinion and my wear test. Alright guys, this is the end of the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope y'all learned something from this. Until next time, y'all stay blessed.